to benefit the Special Olympics was canceled Wednesday, just hours before it was scheduled to begin, adding to the fallout from a now-deleted tweet from Rockets general manager Daryl Morey that showed support for protesters in Hong Kong. The NBA would only say that calling off the event was not its decision. Adam Silver spoke out in defense of Daryl Morey's freedom of speech and received praise from Greg Popovich and Doc Rivers for doing so. Let's take a listen. Freedom of speech, I felt great again. Uh, so uh, he's been uh, a heck of a leader in that respect and very courageous. Uh, and when you compare it to what we've had to live through the last three years, there's a big difference big gap there leadership wise and courage wise and it wasn't easy for him to say uh, he said that in an environment uh, fraught with possible economic peril but he sided with the principles that uh, we all hold dearly you know we've all talked about or heard about all the questions that all the talking heads have and everybody for the last three years. What kind of country do we want to be? Who are we? Where do we want to go? That sort of thing. Uh, Adam said something that helps you understand what direction you need to go in, uh, rather than the cowardice of not being able to respond to something like the murder of a Mr. Khashoggi. And there are many, many incidents like that where it's leadership and courage mean nothing. It's all about personal aggrandizement. So uh, I was thrilled. I can disagree with everything you say. I have the right to do that. And I have the right to say so, you know? Um, and that's good. That's good. That's what this country is about, freedom of speech. And, and we should always have freedom of speech. So, I mean, what's your reaction to how the league has handled this delicate matter so far? Yeah, I mean, the initial statement kind of was a little toothless, and, and I think they felt that pressure from people kind of reacting. So you see in the second statement they put out and then in the press conference that he had and then in the media availability that Commissioner Silver had, they gave it a little bit more definition. This is the deal. It's easy to sit on your couch and tweet, oh, the NBA, da-da-da, but the reality is you do have a business relationship with an entity that does not have the same values and beliefs that we do in this country. That's just reality. And so some of this is going to be how do I stay true to our values, as you see you know, when he's talking about supporting Daryl's right to say what he wants to say, while still not alienating and offending someone that you have a business relationship with. Because that's the reality. This isn't just some dude that you have no connection with. And the thing that's crazy for me is a lot of people criticizing the NBA criticizing Adam Silver about this. They're doing it while tweeting from iPhones that are made in China, while wearing Nike <laughs> products or you know, Adidas products that are made in China. There's a lot of stuff that we have in this country beyond basketball that has a very strong business relationship, including some of our defense uh, contractors, some of the parts that we make uh, that are uh, to use to make weapons in this country for our national defense, use Chinese parts. So this isn't a uniquely NBA thing. Mm. And I think Adam Silver is doing the best job he can of being respectful to the Chinese government because of that relationship while at the same time standing true with what we stand for in this country. This is bigger than basketball at this point. I think this is something that is beyond the scope. Uh, you know, these players wanted to go out there and play basketball and entertain and give China a great show because that's what basketball does. And it's obviously passed beyond that. I think what Daryl Morey said, there's not too many people that disagree. I just mm -hmm. think it was bad timing. Life is about timing. You know what I mean? So you have to kind of fall back and understand the timing is wrong. But I completely agree with Silver. You know, there's a, it's a steep hill. It's a very delicate situation. So this is something where do you continue just allow everything to be canceled and kind of be at their mercy or do we just agree to disagree and understand that with everything going on let's just pull back let, let's try to resolve this but let's you know let's try to move on because I think time heals everything well and I think we'll find that out pretty soon here but to piggyback just off what you guys are saying look I feel like I bring a different perspective to this and I mean you can as well because of where your family is from yeah. you're from the Sudan my family's from Cuba they fled a communist country a communist regime 
And to your point, I mean, they don't play by the same rules no, that we do. No. They have different political, ideological, and philosophical beliefs that are deeply rooted for many, many years. And I don't think that, and Adam Silver kind of said this yesterday in Kyoto, uh, at the Kyoto News Conference, which is, it's not necessarily on the NBA to try to change the philosophical, ideological, right. ideological and political beliefs of another country. It is important for him to stand by Daryl Morey, which he's now done right. twice since. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that the reality is that people need to understand that you're not going to change the way China thinks. Nope. And because of that, I think that your point, I mean, is that pretty much every Fortune 500 company in the United yeah. States and abroad right. even works cool. with China, right? And, and I think that China has a unique situation because they're not only a communist country, but a communist country that has economic power right. over other countries. And I, that's just a lot to digest. And it, does the, it doesn't mean that if you say this, um, that you're anti-American or that you don't believe in free speech. Those things aren't mutually exclusive. Right. We can apply those rules to us here in the United States because those are our core beliefs, but they're not theirs. And I think that is the challenge in trying to express those right. sentiments. George, I've told this story on my podcast before. When I came back to the United States after living in Sudan for six years, I was in the airport and the passport control guys were joking about what they're going to do with their tax refunds. I, like, I don't know. I didn't get one this year. Uncle Billy didn't give us one. And I realized they're talking about Bill Clinton. And I really thought that there were going to be secret police going to come in and grab these people and drag them away because in Sudan or in totalitarian countries, the airport is like the most, you know, hot place. You can't right. say whatever. So it's just, it's a perspective I think a lot of people, a lot of people criticizing Adam Silver, they don't really understand what he's up against. The depth of yeah. what it is that's it's, going it's, on, it's, that goes on in that country. Again, it's not something yeah. superficial that you can cancel culture someone on Twitter with. Right. This is, goes a lot deeper than that. Yeah, and, and again, it, it doesn't mean that anyone that is trying to explain this situation, this is not condoning yeah. China's behavior, nope. this is explaining the behavior and also understanding that there are two separate issues, whether you, like us, we all believe in the core beliefs of yeah. this country, the United States of America, the greatest country in the world, in my estimation, and that is freedom of speech amongst many other core beliefs that we have. But we're not changing their beliefs. Not that, overnight. That's the, not, not, over, correct. not over a tweet from a general manager. Correct. Like, that's not going to be the one. Correct. So, again, mutually exclusive. And, and look, there's going to be a lot more in this saga, obviously, as it continues to unfold. This just in, Chinese brand Anta has released a statement on the social media site Weibo that it will not continue contract renewal negotiations with the NBA in, continued, in this continued fallout from this particular issue. Anta has deals with several high-profile players, including Clay Thompson and Gordon Hayward. Matt, what's your reaction to this? This is just a fallout. Like I said, it, it, it's bigger than basketball right now. I, I think the best thing for players to do is kind of just continue to keep their stance. They don't know enough about it because too, there's too much going on for people to really start commenting uneducatedly on this situation. Yeah, I, I think it's also representative of China's uh, basically Im 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 um, imperative that they can pull the plug on everything. Power. Right. Like we, we, flexing their power. we don't need they, any of this, they, right? They are flexing. That's a great way to do it. Yes. You heard, no. Economically, they can yeah. do that. They're the unique communist superpower yeah. that can pull that the off. The whole thing is, what if they go through with this game and they have, like, like I said, I think time heals everything, but what if they have this game tomorrow and no one comes? Or it's, it's, I mean, right. it's well, just a Rachel. horrible, that's a horrible look. You yeah. know what I mean? So to me, it's Stephen A. Smith mentioned this morning, maybe we should just pull back. You know, this the vibe, the energy is off right now. So let's just, practice are getting canceled, the events are getting canceled. Let's just agree to disagree and hopefully we can handle this you know a different way and revisit it possibly next summer returning to China. We heard Rachel t uh, earlier in the show talk about usually it's hundreds of these fans. Now it's dozens. Two dozens. dozens. And people covering their faces covering their when faces. the NBA entertainment cameras are coming and around. And by the way right. think about how like deep in the cause you have to be to cancel a special Olympics right. event. Right. Like right. an event that would benefit special. You would think that would be like guys we have our, our differences but this is something else. Alright you know? more on the jump here as we continue here on ESPN. Thank <laughs> you.